Hello, my name is Torbjörn. Hello, my name is Flora. And for the group one in uh, Slobozhensky Dance Camp, we, did, uh, we worked on uh, swinging motions. So the idea was to not travel forward on the one, two, but waiting. So we did one, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. And one, two, three, and four, five, and six. So this doesn't mean that we have to walk on the triple step, we can also go for one two. It's just to get the feeling of waiting before we go in opposition of just walking forward by yourself, which is completely possible, but it doesn't swing. So the idea was to make it swing. And for the second hour on Saturday for group one, we worked a little bit on working on stretch uh, in variations and the fact of leading prolongations. So we started in a closed position, a tuck turn. We did one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. And one, two, three, four, five, six, walk. So from, uh, we can do it just one more time from this side. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. And one, two, three, five, seven. Relax, stretch, rock step. So, what we are doing here from the back, as you see, we are doing group walks. We are walking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To, re to end this one, I'm relaxing my my arm and I cross. So we have a connection in the wrist of the follower. This one I use to drag towards me to step. So, it so looks what like was important is that when we did the normal walking, we had a little bit tension. So when he went outside, he was releasing a little bit so that it went out like this. Yes. So we call this level one tension. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Release. Rock step. However, we also worked on level two tension. Level two tension means that I'm tightening. Oh, it's, it's better to see. Level two tension means that I'm tightening the side, creating more tension in the body, so we have a so she's following faster from the front, like this. I'm tightening more so that she's more crispy and respond faster. So if we would walk, we would do normal one, tension, level one, level two, tight. And I keep the tightness and I release, relax. relax. Tight. And relax. Tight. Relax. Yeah. Thank you. And in our third class today in the group one, on Saturday, Let's Dance Robochansky Dance Camp 2018, to be precise, we worked on musicality. So basically what we did was to try to understand the phrasing of music. Our music is categorized either in swing, blues or rock and roll scheme. That's uh, something that is in all kind of swing music, blues or rock and music is that it follows a certain pattern. This pattern goes like this in swing that there is built up on sequences of four times eight. The music will build up until the fourth eight. There's a break or a change and go down and build up. Swing music. This one phrase is for eight. We call it one phrase is for eight. Yeah. Blue scheme or blue schedule has a phrase of six eights going in the other direction, starting high, going down to the 6th eight, starting high, going down to 6th eight. So one blues phrase will be 6th eight. Further on, rock and roll. Rock and roll phrasing is a gimmick sentence, kind of like a thing to remember. You can either have a song on 6th eight, 6th eight, then you have a chorus or something to remember in the song that goes on 4 eights, so the different system, or you can have a song, a swing song, goes on four eights, and you have this chorus to remember on six eights. 
Which is important on the rock and roll songs is that the rock and roll schedule, it was in the 50s when music got more vocal and, and uh, important for the singers. So they had these kind of choruses that was repetitive so that people would remember the songs and sing together with them at the band. Like uh, we can say choo 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 boogie. Choo 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 boogie woo woo. This they say every time. There's the same chorus with the same text. This one is four eights, while the rest of the song is a blues song. So it's played on six, 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 and when they sing this choo 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 boogie, it's four eights. So this idea is to make people remember the song to sell more uh, more CDs or vinyls back in the days. So that was the idea of the rock and roll. So what we practiced one was to try to improvise in the end of the phrasing so that we can restart dancing on one on the music. Either if it's a swing, a blues or a rock and roll schedule.